the difference between Carol Highsmith and the rest of the thicket of photographers in Washington clicking away at the cherry blossoms is that her images will be preserved for posterity. Things are changing for the good and the bad. It's important to catch that. Now, do I know what will be important? No, I don't. I'm clueless. So can you go anywhere without automatically taking pictures? <laughs> no, no. Uh... Highsmith is at work on a decades-long project photographing all 50 states and the District of Columbia. Her pictures, thousands of them, are going to the Library of Congress, free for anyone to use. If people are using my images now, I want them to. But I'm not living for today. I'm really living for 100 years from now. Which is exactly what the Library of Congress is about. Preserving the past and the present for the future. It is the largest library in the world. And it's done in two volumes. Walk in and prepare to be in awe. There is a Gutenberg Bible in perfect condition. A draft of the Gettysburg Address in Lincoln's handwriting. The earliest map with the name America printed on it from 1507. The library contains more than 155 million items. Founded in 1800 for members of Congress to use. This is Thomas Jefferson's library. The library bought Thomas Jefferson's books, nearly 6,500 of them, after its original collection was burned by the British in the War of 1812. We pull volumes from this collection between 15 and 20 times a week. Um, it's, it, yes, it's still heavily in use. One of the most requested, according to communications director Gail Osterberg, is Jefferson's Koran. You can see it was published in 1764. May I touch it? Wow. It's just astonishing to be touching a book that belonged to Thomas Jefferson. It is extraordinary. Anybody 16 or older can get a library card, but you can't leave the building with any of its 35 million books, nearly 14 million photographs, or more than 3 million sound recordings, to name just some of what's here. You save what is of fundamental importance in the best version you can. And what you save, you have to save very broadly. So help me God. The Librarian of Congress is appointed for life. James Billington has held the position since 1987. You've got to preserve the values of the book culture even as you embrace the new possibilities of the digital culture. So, on the library's registry of significant films, you'll find the first screen kiss. Trinity! Help! And just added, The Matrix. The library is currently archiving 176 billion Twitter postings. I'm a jolly old fellow from way back in New England where apples and peaches and... What was cutting-edge recording technology in the 1880s the same I would have is being saved by cutting-edge computer technology today. Meet Irene, an amazing 3D scanner, one of only two in the world. Irene can read what's on a fragile cylinder or even a broken record and without ever touching it, recreate the sound. Among the nearly 38 million items from the library now available free online, there is this. My grandfather belonged to Thomas Jefferson. A recording of former slave Fountain Hughes. We belong to people. They sell us like you sell horses and cows. Made when he was 101. This picture was taken in 1936. One of the most popular downloads is Dorothea Lang's photograph, Migrant Mother. She's 32. She looks 50. It has come to symbolize the Great Depression. 
it really is the face of a period of time. And so but who knew when the picture was taken? Two weeks after Carol Highsmith photographed Big Tex, the mascot of the Texas State Fair, he burned down. What's important to me is to record America during my lifetime so that many, many years from now, we can see what we looked like so we have a sense of who we are.